bipartisan group of senators is working to address concerns about broadband mapping, which determines how which dollars are distributed to increase internet access. And some lawmakers worry the current mapping process has flaws. It needs to be updated to make sure rural and underserved areas get the funding they need. KCAU 9's Bree Jackson has the story from Washington. Senators say access to broadband is all about location, location, location. I can drive through my state and tell you when we're going to have drop service, where we're going to have no service. Senator Shelley Moore Capito of West Virginia says current maps used by the FCC to distribute funding don't show exactly where there's poor or no connectivity. Members of the bipartisan Senate Broadband Caucus say without good data, they can't pass policies to address the problem. Really, if we don't get this right, you can't get anything else right. And this means that communities that really need help to deploy broadband are ineligible to receive federal funds. The Federal Communications Commission agrees their collection process has flaws, but officials say updating the maps takes time. Challenging with 150 million or so addresses nationwide. And lawmakers are looking for ways to speed up the drawing of more accurate maps. One bill directs the FCC to use consumer reported data as well as data from state and local governments. Supporters say federal officials, carriers and other stakeholders must work together on solutions or underserved communities will continue to struggle. If those of us who are left behind in the digital divide aren't um, able to close that divide, we're going to drag the rest of our states and our, our regions down with us and we don't we don't want to see that. In addition to seeing improved data maps, lawmakers want broadband funding included in any infrastructure deal. In Washington, Bree Jackson.